Hello everyone, my name is Tomislav Lukman and today I'm going to show you how to deal with a common problem found with particle systems. Now this is Blender 263, the current uh, version of Blender. Maybe the problem we're going to solve today gets fixed in the future, maybe not, I don't know, but for the time being it's here and this is how we deal with it. To save time, I already set up the basic scene here. I have a few plants which I took from the Nature Academy made by Andrew Kreis and our typical scenario with the ground plane and the basic particle system here which is or was supposed to distribute those plants correctly all over the plane well if you take if you take a closer look here you'll notice that uh, this is not the case the plants are weirdly set up and this is a common problem which which is a big pain for me for a long long time and I never properly figured out how to deal with it I figured it had something to do with uh, the way these objects are set up but I never knew correctly what it was until recently because I, I really got frustrated and tired and wanted to deal with this and now I'm going to share it with you now the problem what I figure the problem is, is if you take a look at this corner here, you will notice that the x-axis represents what's left and right, and the z-axis represents what's, what's up and down. And if you rotate a little bit, the y-axis represents depth. Now, from the mathematical point of view, this isn't really accurate. If you learned your maths in school, you learned that x is left and right, y is up and down and if you use the third dimension then the z would be depth now what i figure is going on here that is that the particle systems use this mathematically accurate model to determine what's up and down and what's depth and what's left and right which is a conflict indirect conflict uh, with what blender seasons up and down left right and depth so in plain English what we need to do here if we want to fix this problem is we have to align our the heights of our plants with what uh, ever the particle system sees as height and which is in fact the y-axis here or the green axis so what I have to do is select our red plant here, rotate along the x-axis for minus 90 degrees, hit enter. Now you notice that the green arrow and the height of our plant are aligned and this is basically what we want. Now if, if we go back to layer 1, you will notice that we still haven't fixed anything and this is because we actually have to apply this rotation our object and if now if we go back the problem is solved so once again we select our little green plant here rotate along the x-axis for negative 90 or 270 whichever you prefer and hit enter and make sure not to forget to control a or apply rotation and we'll do the same with this little white flower so rotate along the x 270 enter control a rotation and if we go back to our layer one notice that our plants are now correctly set up now we go back to our particle systems we can we can turn on the random rotation here make sure it's set to normal so that your objects will rotate along the normals of the faces on the plane and you can use this random rotation if you want full random rotation then you just turn it up to one and this little option here is actually going to knock them on sides knock your objects to sides so if you want you can use it like, like point, point 0.1 for example maybe to add some more randomness but that's, I that's entirely up to you but the key options are here Make sure it's uh, along the normal and random.
random around here. So once again, when you run into this problem, make sure that the objects you're using in particle systems are aligned, their heights are aligned along the green y-axis. And that's it. This is how we solve our problem. Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Thanks for watching.